What is CoQ10 good for? So CoQ10 is really important for how our cells produce energy as well as antioxidant systems. So getting more CoQ10 from our diets reduces risk of dozens of health problems. So why don't we look at three, PCOS, migraines, and chronic fatigue syndrome. There are enough randomized controlled clinical trials looking at the benefits of CoQ10 supplementation in people with PCOS that there are systematic reviews and meta-analyses. And they show that CoQ10 can help to improve insulin resistance, reduce fasting insulin, and help normalize some hormone levels, including increasing follicular stimulating hormone and lowering testosterone. Plus, CoQ10 can improve lipid profiles in people with PCOS, lowering triglycerides, LDL cholesterol, and total cholesterol, and increasing HDL cholesterol. There was also a clinical trial in 2022 that showed that 12 weeks of CoQ10 supplementation in people with PCOS lowered markers of inflammation, but also improved their mental health. There are meta-analyses of clinical trials looking at how CoQ10 impacts migraine sufferers as well, showing that compared to placebo, CoQ10 reduces the duration, severity, and number of days in a month that migraine sufferers like even have a migraine. And while we don't have those like large meta-analyses for chronic fatigue syndrome, we do have some high-quality placebo-controlled double-blind clinical trials to look at. They show that coenzyme Q10 can reduce cognitive fatigue perception, fatigue impact scale scores, health-related quality of life, and sleep duration in patients with chronic fatigue syndrome. There's also some science to suggest that lower intake of coenzyme Q10, or at least lower levels in the body, may increase the risk of developing chronic fatigue syndrome in the first place. So of course, all three of those health conditions are multifactorial, and I am not suggesting that you run out and buy a coenzyme Q10 supplement. Instead, taking a food-based approach where we're getting all of the nutrients our bodies need from the foods we eat, what I call Nutribor, ensures we're getting all of the nutrients that help to reduce our risk of these health problems while being easier, more effective, and more budget-friendly. And if you're interested in the a couple dozen other health conditions that are impacted by coenzyme Q10 intake, as well as all of the best food sources, then uh, head over to Nutrivore.com, tap on nutrients, tap on coenzyme Q10, and let the learning begin.